Do you feel stuck like in Groundhog Day? Like every day is exactly the same and you're repeating it over and over and over again for years, no matter how hard you try and change it? That was me. Today, I'm going to share these five strategies on how you can completely change your life in 2024. Hey there, and welcome back to Brick by Brick Wealth. My name is Casey Francini, real estate investor, mom, and entrepreneur, helping you break free from societal norms so you can start living your life today. Now, before we get into it, let me take a sip of my iced tea. There have been five things that have shaped my life as an entrepreneur since I started this journey from being a stay-at-home mom, and it's allowed me to create immense success, in my opinion, in the short amount of time. Now, if you know me, I do invest in long-term rental properties, and I also have an online coaching business where I help aspiring real estate investors through their first rental property. The mental work that was required of me to begin investing in rental properties was a peanuts compared to the amount of mental work needed to grow an online successful coaching business. So today, we're gonna go through these five strategies that I use to help me completely transform my life and how you can use them too to change your life in 2024. And if you stay until the end, I'm going to give you a bonus sixth strategy, a homework assignment, so you can get started right away on that life change. The first one is learning that you have the power and more than learning, understanding, being aware, knowing that the power is within you to make any change you want. No longer can you blame external factors. You can't blame your boss. You can't blame your job. You can't blame your husband, your kids, your messy house, your past life, all those things. None of it matters. It's all BS. It's all excuses. The power is within you and you have the power to change. You have the power. I have the power to overcome any obstacle. And as soon as I knew that all the excuses that I had built up inside of me were my excuses and that I had the power to change them, I said, I am breaking free. I do not need these excuses to hold me down any longer. Since I have the power, I'm going to make my own life decisions. I'm going to change and I'm going to do it on my own terms. When you're starting a new journey, changing your life in any arena, it doesn't have to be starting an online business or buying rental properties. It could be any other thing. This is just what I did, but you may have your own thing that you're trying to change. It all starts with an internal belief. And there are a couple of resources I'm going to share with you. And I'll put the links in the description below that help start me off on this journey to open my mind of awareness. There's these two resources were Jim Fortin's podcast. It's called Transforming Your Life from the Inside Out. I'm pretty sure I've listened to all of his episodes. Um, He's in the 300s, I believe now, but I've been listening to his episodes for several years. The book that completely changed my life and helped me understand that I have the power within is called The Power of the Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. Highly recommend it. It's really cheap. I'm pretty sure it's like one cent on Kindle. You can get it for free sometimes too. I recommend getting the audio book and getting the physical book and following along. Once you have the belief and you know that the power is within you to change, the second thing you have to do is realize that life is short. And the older I get, the faster and faster time goes by. Now we probably all remember our grandparents right saying, oh, time flies, have good time, have fun with your kids, cherish every moment, time flies. You're like, yeah, 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 time flies, time flies. What if you all of a sudden look back and you have regrets that you didn't do X, Y, Z? There are seasons of your life, and that gives me the chills to say, there are seasons in your life. It's not years. Don't think of your life in years, think of it in seasons. You have your childhood, Then you have your young adult years before you're married. Then you have the time, if you do get married, you have the time with your children. And that's the time that I'm in. And then your children will move out. And then you're going to be 50, 60 years old. And then you're going to be in retirement. Those days and those times fly by. So take risks. Most people are asked on their deathbed, what's their one regret? And nine out of 10 times, their regret is that they didn't do something that they wish they had done. They wish they had taken that risk. They wish that they had just bought that business. They wish they had just taken the leap and moved to the other state. They wish they had done something. Life is short. Take the risk. Take the leap. Go freaking do it. Who cares? Guess what? Nobody really cares about you but you. You and your spouse, and then your kids, your parents, your immediate family. But after that, 
When it comes down to you and the decisions that you make to change your life, nobody cares about them but you. And unfortunately, most people are so wrapped up in themselves, they can only see themselves. People are afraid, right? I was afraid before to take risks. I was afraid to start a new business. I was afraid to do something I was uncomfortable with because what if I failed? Guess what? Failure is a part of the process. There's no such thing as failure. Failure just means you didn't get it right. Failure just means you need to try again. Failure is a part of learning. And when people say you fail your way forward, it's the ultimate truth. With every failure comes a ginormous lesson and you won't do that again. And chances are you're going to do something even better next time. And you needed that failure as a stepping stone on the ladder to get to the next level. So don't be afraid of failure. If something does not work out, don't give up. Just keep pushing forward. The third thing that helped me get to where I am today is that I got out of my comfort zone. Let me tell you, being here on this camera, <laughs> you would have asked me, I don't even know, six years ago or five years ago, if I'd be sitting here right now in front of a camera doing a YouTube video, I would laugh right in your face. So getting out of your comfort zone and doing things that you're not used to doing is a part of growing. And here's a fun fact. And I clipped this from the internet just so I would get it right. Stepping out of your comfort zone with unfamiliar activities is what triggers the rewiring of your brain, which is a concept also known as neuroplasticity. So by stepping out of your comfort zone and doing things that you're not used to doing, you are growing and that's how you grow. Stepping out of your comfort zone is the key to success. And that's what most entrepreneurs will say. I do real estate investing and a lot of my online real estate investing friends will say that they didn't start skyrocketing in their business until they started getting out of their comfort zone and doing things they weren't used to doing. I remember specifically the day that I did my first Instagram live. I had my phone up and I, and I was staring at it and I was going to push go live and I must have sat there for five minutes with my heart pounding because I didn't know if I could go live. What if nobody was there? What if I messed up? I couldn't stop and start over and stop and re-record. It was live, but I just did it. And guess what? I've done hundreds of lives since then. I have done hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of video interviews. It's nothing to me now. It's a stepping stone to get to the next level. So whatever that thing that you're afraid of, the only way to get over the fear is to go through the fear. So write down, if you're taking any notes, and I know a lot of you take notes on my videos, thank you, I do appreciate that, I'm glad you're learning. What are your fears that are inhibiting you, stopping you from going to the next level? Those are the things you do first. You put those on your to-do list. The fourth one is be you 2.0, AKA Casey 2.0. So the version of me that was me before I started being an online, um, I wouldn't say I'm an influencer by any means, but you know, an online business persona, having a small business and being a real estate investor and teaching people about it and having the confidence to do that. That was not me, Casey 1.0. I had to transform into Casey 2.0 with mindset and beliefs and an unshakable truth that there was no chance of failure. And if I was embarrassed myself or I messed up, it didn't matter. I had to keep going because guess what? We're all born as babies. We're all born as like nothing, okay? No one just is born Elon Musk. No one is just born Britney Spears or whatever. We were playing restaurant the other day and I was Britney Spears, so that's why that came to mind. <laughs> but you're not born amazing like that. You have to learn the skills and you're only gonna learn those skills by getting out of your comfort zone and being somebody different. So you think, okay, I wanna be like this person over here that my, has my dream job. Or for example, I wanted to help new real estate investors with their first rental property, but I did not like social media. I didn't really like what it stood for. I didn't like the chest pounding. I didn't care about people's toes in the sand. I didn't wanna see pictures of people's dogs. I really didn't care what they had for lunch. So I did not like social media. I went on social media to teach people and help and educate because if I was a stay-at-home mom for 10 years, could amass over $2 million net worth and make a lot of money every year through my coaching program and change our family's financial future after being a stay-at-home mom for 10 years with no you know, work experience since in that time, 
then so could so many other people who are just like me. And I said, for me to help these other people, I have to get over my fear. I have to push through all of the doubt. And I have to be a different version of me. And I have to get on social media. So you might want to ask, what do rich people do? If you want to be rich, right? What do rich people do? You need to implement the actions and do the things that rich people would do. You want to make passive income so you can stay home with your kids? How could you achieve that? Don't say, oh, I can't do that. I, me and my husband, we work full time. We couldn't possibly stay home with our kids. Stop that. How could you do that? What would it take for you to do that? What would it look like for you if you did that? There is always a how. You always can. You just have to stop and think. Don't automatically write things off. Think of the version of you that can get the action done and start implementing those strategies and those techniques that that person would use if they were you. And the fifth one is not giving up. This is so very important. I'm sure you've seen this picture because I've seen it a thousand times online. And it's a picture of this guy and it's like a 1D picture. It's a picture of this guy hammering this brick wall and he gives up right before he gets through to the wall. He's got one inch left. He has one inch left to be free, to get out of the tunnel and he gives up. Most people, when they give up, they slowly start dying. When you give up on yourself on the inside, you start dying on the inside. Do not give up on your dreams. You can completely change your life in 2024, but you need to not give up on your dreams. Now, when you're trying to completely change your life, it won't be easy. You're going to cry. You're going to want to give up. You'll work long hours. You'll take things out on your family. I'm not one to tell you it's all roses. It's a struggle. It's a lot of work. It's very hard to make changes. You're changing the neurons in your brain. You're becoming a different person. You're becoming a better, better version of you. And for that it takes real physical effort and mental change. All right, if you've made it this far already into my video, then you're getting your first homework assignment from me. One that you can implement right away and get started on changing your life completely in 2024. And it's a fun homework assignment. And I got it written down here for you. All right. The assignment is to find out what you want in life. So grab a pencil, grab a paper. What do you want in life, right? You want to know that so you know what you're changing your life for. Now, you may say right off the bat, I know what I want in life. And I urge you to stop because you don't. You don't really know. We only say out loud what we're conditioned to want okay? You might not really want any of those things that you're saying out loud or saying to yourself right now. So here's your homework assignment. The goal is to find out what you really want in life. So step one, get out a pen and paper. I want you to erase, close your eyes and erase all the societal norms from your mind. I want you to think from a blank space. Forget about the fact that people work eight to five. Forget about the fact that kids go to school every single day and have two weeks off and a summer off. Forget about all those things. Forget about the fact that we live in a house, okay? You're gonna start from a blank slate. Close your eyes. Erase all societal norms, everything you've been conditioned to believe from your mind. The world is your oyster and it's no holds barred. While your eyes are closed, think and answer this question. If you got everything you wanted out of life, what even is that? Do you even know what you want? Most people don't. Do you want to work remotely from home? Work for yourself or work for someone else? How many hours do you want to work? Do you want to travel? Do you want to homeschool? Do you want to live on a farm? Do you want to learn guitar? Do you want to garden more? Do you want to enjoy more hobbies on a regular basis? Do you want to learn a skill or a trade? Or do you already have a skill that you would love to explore deeper and perhaps use that skill to teach others? Now open your eyes, think about it. You can pause this video and write down what you actually want your life to be like. Then this third step of the homework assignment is you have to figure out how to pay for that life. Now, this is contrary to what we're taught. Initially, we're taught to we have our life, now how do we make money for our life? No, we need to think the other way. This is the life we want, 2.0. How do we get the money for this life? That's the way to think. Don't think from a lack of, don't think from a lack of having. Think from an abundance mindset, the world's your oyster, you can have and do whatever you want. 
So how do you get it? Believe that it's true. Ooh, Neville Goddard is another one that I absolutely love. You can find his videos all over YouTube. Um, listen to some Neville Goddard. I'll uh, remind him, I'll, I'll put that in the link below as well. Okay, so step three is, right? So step one, erase everything from your mind. Step two, answer what you really want in your life. And step three, we've got to figure out how to pay for this new life. We need money, right? Unfortunately, we can't live on air. So, well, some people do. They're called breatharians. Um, I did do a four-day fast recently. That was actually really nice. Lost some weight. Feel great. Um, but we do need money for life, right? We need to eat. We need a place to sleep. We want things in life. I mean, come on. We're not completely detached, right, from reality. So how can we pay for the life that we want? Now, I want you to keep in mind the life that you want to live, the way you make money needs to fit your version of you that you want to live. If the way you're making money doesn't support your new life, then it's a no. You can't make money that way. Figure out something else that fits your new life. Write down all the different ways that you would enjoy making money in your new life. Now, before you say, oh, I've already got a W-2 job and I've been there forever and that's all that I can do. I can't do anything else. Stop. That's limiting beliefs. That's poor mindset. No, no. You have skills. And there are a lot of other things that you could do. Maybe a different, maybe an even a maybe even a different company that offers something just in line with your dream life. Okay, so the possibilities are endless for you out there. You need to think from a place where anything is possible because it is. Once you found the way to make money that's super exciting to you, that will fulfill your destiny of the new life that you want to have. Now you have a goal worth changing for. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, something absolutely different than what I've ever done before, please tell me in the comments below and you will really be telling me by liking the video, subscribing, ringing the bell. If you have a success story of how your life has changed, please put it in the comments below. We all need to inspire each other. The society, the world out there is very difficult. It's hard and we can make it easier on each other if we all come together and provide support. Until next time, keep building your wealth brick by brick.